This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Floating right and left. Oh, I have a game. Do you have a game? I have a game. No, no, no. Keep playing. Rah! Look, I can jump. I can jump. I can jump. I can jump. And I can die. <laughs> okay. So let's see what we're doing on this one. If you don't have that, you should go back and do the other parts of this lesson. If you're stuck, I have tutorials on those. All right. The Valaris should be able to fly to, should be able to float left and right. Find the code comment slash slash player. And again, a comment is something the computer skips over. Programmers leave each other messages there. Um, and we can leave information and descriptions of what's going on. So add a conditional. When you see the word conditional, you must think if, 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 because uh, if a condition is true, if the day is Tuesday, I eat breakfast. That's terrible. I eat at breakfast every day, but a condition and if, and if is the conditional. All right. Condition that decreases the sprites velocity the sprites x velocity okay so player controls i know i need an if because it's at a conditional now what am i checking the x velocity when the left arrow is pressed so what do i need to check if the left arrow is pressed then i need to do something so let's go to world and i'm gonna go key down this time and what key left now, so what happens is since this is inside our draw loop, our draw function, the draw function runs 30 times a second. So 30 times a second, I'm asking the computer, hey, computer, is the left key down? 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 Now, if the left key is not down, any code I put into this blue mouth thing, it doesn't run. The computer doesn't care. It ignores it. The computer says false. Left key is not down. Maybe I'm holding the space bar. Maybe I'm holding nothing. But this would be false. It skips over it and runs the code beneath. Only if this is true, yes, the user's holding the left key, would it run the code inside? What's that code do? The sprite's x velocity when the, the x velocity decrease. Because if you look at x down here or next to the mouse right now, it's at 200. Over here, it's at 30. So if we want to go to the left, we decrease x. So if they hold left, we decrease x. We decrease the x velocity. And keep in mind, the x velocity is kind of the speed, the movement. It's really just like the counter pattern. It's moving the player over. We don't have a sprite, we have a player. By that amount each time the draw loop runs. So I'm going to decrease it by 5. I'm not really sure what this will look like. So that might not be enough. Or maybe this is too much. Let's do 15. Whoa, that was... Okay, I want to fall faster. Wait, no. Do I want to fall faster? I need to hit a lot of keys at the same time here. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe 10. Ah! <laughs> oh, that was sad. <laughs> okay, that kind of works. Um, and then for... You know, I actually kind of want to use the counter pattern. Does it recommend it? I want to use the counter pattern for this. Let's give it a shot. So if the key is down, let's have the player's x velocity equal... So now it will slowly, oops, I named this wrong. Dangerous of typing. Now it will slowly decrease by 0 0.2. And it might be more smooth. That was not good. Oh, I can hold it down. Ah, this is really hard. I'm not sure I like this anymore. Hmm, I might make this higher. Make it of six. No, I'm cheating. You can't. Oh my gosh. I keep forgetting to hit up. Oh, I like this. Okay, okay, okay. We'll leave it like that. Oh, wait. Now I have to do right. So I'm going to kind of cheat to do right. I'm going to highlight all of this stuff I just did. And for right, I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to click and I'm going to hit paste because it's very close to identical. So now I'm checking if the player hits the right arrow key. If they do hit the right arrow key, I'm going to be adding to it instead of subtracting. And keep in mind, with a draw loop, uh, it's running, th I mean, with the, yeah, draw loop, it runs 30 times a second. It's checking if either of these are true, and then it performs that action. And so we're slowly adding to or taking away from the X and Y velocity. So I have to keep tapping this and holding oh my gosh this is kind of difficult no i want to keep playing you guys haven't seen how good i am oh i keep forgetting it's, it's challenging awesome test your code make sure it works it works it is hard my game is awesome let's keep going 